Hey everybody, it is week 17. Welcome back to my garage. Whew! <laughs> you know, last week we talked a lot about how the thing we've been all longing for, many of us are longing for in this upside down, out of control season of this coronavirus pandemic is peace. And as we continue to ask questions about school, when we go back, how we go back, as we continue to ask questions about church and the youth ministry, how do we all return and what does that look like? The thing we're longing for is peace. But how do we, how do we receive that peace? How do we receive the peace of Christ when the way that we were practicing our faith over the summers, that all that's been pulled out from underneath us? How do we receive that peace when the way that we were used to receiving it was going on in West Virginia? was having Festivus every Wednesday night, was having Great Escape or Barefoot Republic Camp. How do we receive this peace? Well, the Apostle Paul actually answers that question in the fourth chapter to the Philippians. He says, in everything, in everything, through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, which doesn't make sense, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Did you hear it? Prayer. <laughs> Prayer. What, what, if, what if this coronavirus craziness is creating an opportunity for us to get back on speaking terms with God? What if, what if every time you were worried about about when things are gonna go back to normal or what the new normal is gonna be? What if every time you ask questions about that don't have answers right now, what if every time you lamented what wasn't gonna, what didn't happen this summer and what's not gonna happen? What if you turn those into prayers? What if you turn those, the loneliness that you're experiencing now into an invitation that you could say yes to? An invitation of communion with God because we can't gather for communion in the sanctuary, what if God's offering you communion through the Holy Spirit to be in relationship with Jesus Christ? What would that look like? And could you say yes to it? Prayer. That's what Paul offers us. So my encouragement to you this week is to get back on speaking terms with Jesus. We're still doing everything that we were doing before in terms of that just social distanced Bible study. And so we'll keep those social distance Bible studies going. I uh, hope you can come to those. Well, um, as soon as we start doing our socially distance activities again, we'll let you know. God's up to something. Be a part of it.